Hello! <laughs> it's been a while. The last time I vlogged was in Ljubljana on the book tour. All of the ladies are vlogging too. <laughs> and so it's been a, a month or so since I last filmed. I've been busy, I've been drawing a lot and not doing much other fun stuff. So you haven't missed out on anything. But I'll show you what I've been working on. And today is the weekend. We're going to a really nice bakery before CB goes off to London. So we're gonna have a nice morning together and I'll show you what we get up to. Our tea tower. Eddie's got a new coat that my cousin from Florida got him. Eddie, come on, let's see. It's a little Carhartt jacket. Okay, we are on Schroederstrasse and Freya Bakery is just back there. But here is also Christoph Niemann's uh, workspace and like a little gallery. It's closed today, but I was here with my friend Abby recently. You can see tiny bits. There's stuff from his new book all over the walls. I'm gonna let you know if it's still open or if you can come see the, the exhibition. But yeah, I was here last weekend. <laughs> Okay, we've got pistachio croissant each and uh, olive focaccia and two cold cappuccinos. Oh, I'm gonna get them. Um... Mm. Let's see mm -hmm. from the inside. Oh. I'm back at my desk. I'm working on some lice shampoo and spray instructions for my aunt's company. I've been working on a few little projects for her that I'm gonna show you later. Um, there was a little animation also, some packaging, illustration. Yeah, there's some more coming. So it's, it's really nice to have something for a pharmaceutical industry done because I've been wanting to get into it for a while now but I just haven't been able to find the right context. So she, she's the perfect one to start with. And then once I have this, um, these examples, I think it's gonna be easier to reach out to similar kind of brands and offer my services to clients that are normally <laughs> willing to pay a bit more than your regular, I don't know, little businesses. I love sitting at my desk with this little jug here. Um, Sibi got it for me in Croatia, in a little ceramic shop, very close to where his mom's place is. A little polka dotted jug. And I love having these um, gerberas inside. They're so sweet and they last really a long time. Anyway, I really like my little desk setup right now. Okay, I'm just gonna show you a few things that I did um, illustration-wise since we last talked since I last filmed. Um, so I think this one was a project I started in Slovenia already when I was doing the book presentations. Um, it's um, an illustration about one of the events in Ljubljana. There's Giga, the author of the book, um, and there's me. Uh, he's reading the book and I'm drawing live the story and this is the children that are watching, a little duck and a little fluffy doggy here. And it's uh, my normal postcard setup. And I did this um, to send to all the venues and all the kindergartens and um, libraries and the publishing house that were helping out with the book itself, with the publishing and also with the events. So I sent a bunch of those away already and I'm super happy with the design. Even Giga ordered a pack of these postcards um, for him to send around to his friends and co-workers and everything. So this was one of them. And then I took a private commission recently and sent it all the way to Belgium. Um, I'm going to put it up here for you to see because it's already on its way. 
And I had a little break from private commissions recently just because I did so many during the summer that I got sick of them a little bit. But now I want to open commissions again for before Christmas. It's a good time for me to open commissions now because people are going to buy gifts for Christmas. And this is such a, I mean, most, mostly people order these commissions as gifts. Some people like, like to get them for themselves and for their own family, but many of them are as gifts. So I want to take advantage of this time and open commissions. And then, and then um, this week I finished um, a little commission for this children's magazine. It's called Titi Zabownik, it's from Slovenia. And it's published by um, Medinska Kniga, which is the biggest publishing house in Slovenia. And um, it's basically like a little magazine full of tasks for kids, like there's some stickers inside, like that. Some are colored, some are not colored illustrations. Yeah, for this one specifically, when they wrote me if I was interested in drawing for them, they said they are looking for younger illustrators um, to prove themselves here, because this publishing house, Medinska Kniga, they have some really amazing children's magazines, uh, Tsitsi Ban and Tsitsi Do, and they work with really amazing Slovenian illustrators. Um, I've tried to reach out to them and um, get commissioned for their magazine, but this is where I guess they start with younger illustrators. So I'm super happy to have that done. Um, the lady who commissioned the um, editor um, she was really happy with it, and yeah, I can't wait to get a copy where mine is going to be inside. I'm working in the shop today. Tiny bit late, but I need to prepare my breakfast. And Eddie's going with me today because Sidney's away, and of course little Mr. can't be home alone. Um, I exercised already, I sent off the lice illustration work, so it was a productive morning, but now I have to get going. Loaded, here's Eddie's bag, bed, my bag with all the stuff. Okay, and we're off to the shop. <laughs> See you there. Mm. Eddie, stop it. It's just me trying to enjoy this little ice cream after work. Eddie, stop it. <coughs> He's a complete angel. <coughs> only after dinner. <coughs> Kaya, stop it. My shop job days. It's the same story every time. I always start at 11 and finish at 7, get home by before 8. Stop it. Every time I'm planning, oh, I can do this and that in the evening. But then when I get home, every time, I'm just so smashed. I'm gonna feel better tomorrow <laughs> after this ice cream already. Good morning. I'm just doing some little handwritten text for the post that I want to make for Instagram. 
maybe for TikTok, and also just to have a PDF for when I have private commissions, which I'm opening for private commissions now again, um, where I can write everything I need from the people who are interested and the prices, and just to have this document that I can send to everyone who is interested because I used to always just get emails and then nobody would know how it all works and then I would have to explain it to everyone in an email. So now I think this is going to be really great to have just to send this little PDF to everyone and to post it on Instagram. I'm going to offer two options. So one is going to be um, original ink and watercolor on A4 and the other one is going to be uh, digital print, art print on A3 where you also get files to make custom postcards um, on A6, I mean these are square but from moo.com I order mine at moo and I always recommend people who order this option to get them there as well and yeah, I'm going to put in all the prices and then I'm going to get busy for Christmas time. <laughs> also, this little square format reminds me of something I haven't showed you yet. You've probably heard of Inktober and all these October drawing challenges that are all over Instagram. Well, I <laughs> took a part in one of them for the first week of October and then I got some commissions and my cousin and her friend were visiting from the US for the weekend and I only managed to make drawings for the week one. Um, and then stop. Now it's 17th of October. I've got one, two, seven drawings. But yeah, it's so, it's, it's so annoying. Like I was so ambitious in the beginning and then you skip one day or two and then you can you just can't get on, on with it again. And I, I mean, I don't know. It's tough with these daily challenges, especially when you have other stuff to do. It's a lot. So, I don't know, a little failed attempt, but I'm gonna show you what I did. The first day was mushrooms. I did it with ink and watercolor on this little square paper. And at first I wasn't sure how it's gonna work out because it's very like absorbent this is the block but it turned out really great it drinks the ink so much and the watercolor i really like that it's not streaky at all you have to be careful if you put too much water on it it gets quite quite grainy but then it dries really nice so this was um, i think day two magic cake um, I'm not gonna go in the right order, but this one was hot head. Um, this one was space ice cream, but it's actually on the TV tower. Uh, oh, this one was gremlins, and I really didn't feel like drawing gremlins because I never watched them. I don't. I have nothing to do with Kremlins, I don't know. Maybe it's a fun movie, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna watch it one day, but I really didn't feel like it. So then I just drew this Gremlin, but it's actually Eddie and drawing him. Yeah. And then there was one um, prompt called Sweet Face. And of course I had to draw Eddie again. And then when I started skipping the days, <laughs> I found one challenge by Maya Spock on Instagram. She's also an amazing illustrator and she had prompts for two days together. So this one was draw a dog that looks like its owner and of course it's Eddie and me again. 
I think our noses and the bandanas make it make a little bit similar, make us look a little bit alike. So that was it. That was like a little daily drawing challenge that lasted a week. I want to get back to it. Like I want to draw some more. Like, at least I want to have like 15 by the end of the month. Hi, good morning. Uh, I'm just uploading the video I edited yesterday. I stayed up to 1.30, but I got it done. And every time I make it, then it feels like, okay, I'm back on track. I just hope I stay on it. <laughs> um, and I can't believe how well the little post worked that I made for Instagram that I'm open for commissions. I've already got two and people are sharing the post and I get, I'm getting new followers, like it's really been hard, like I haven't grown my Instagram very much in the last couple of years, like it just doesn't go as easy as it used to. But this is really amazing, sometimes I forget that I can just ask or just like show an offer what I can do and what I want to do and it's it's just what you have to do in order to to get results like sometimes I just forget sometimes I just think people are gonna come to me out of nowhere and sometimes they do but no I have to do this and I really recommend you to if you're stuck if you I don't know you're not getting what you want just Talk about it, show it, and I don't know, things do come. It's also one thing, figuring out what you really want. Um, I've been struggling with that a little bit. Like, there's so many ideas I have, so many things I want to do, but the time is limited. And I just think about too much stuff at the same time, and then I get overwhelmed and I don't do anything concrete. So commissions have always worked for me, so that's why I decided to push that now, at least before Christmas. inking this drawing that I'm gonna make a print out of for my cousin and her friend that were visiting Berlin last weekend and I'm making them this, this is a gift but it's the normal way of how I do my print commissions I showed some of the pro process here so I always draw the sketch on my iPad and then I print it out because in the sketch phase there's would mean there's always trial and error moving things around scaling things and I love how you can do that unlimited unlimited amount um, on the iPad and then once I'm happy with the sketch I print it out and I trace it onto this using this um, light up pad 
onto the paper, first with a pencil, and then I go over with brush and ink. And then I'm going to scan it, remove the background in Photoshop, and color again on the iPad. And then I order a printed uh, XL Druck Berlin print shop in Berlin, which is amazing. In about an hour, I'm meeting my friend Abby at the cafe. I'm gonna work together for a bit today. And that's why I would love to have this inked and scanned and removed the background so I can color at the cafe. I don't very often work at a cafe. Not at all, really. So I'm curious how it's gonna go. And with her, it's nice because she's doing this similar thing. She's doing like journaling and also lots of illustration. And she also has a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna take her in there. Uh, yeah, it's really difficult. So it's mm -hmm. it's a challenge. But I'll send you mine. It's just okay. But I wanna like even have like a Friday two hours that I work. You know.